Hello everybody, welcome to the round of 32 for CCL 45. Uh, here we have Sniperino 9000 with Chaos versus Andri with Chaos Dwarves. And in the booth with me is Fimir. Hello! Hello everybody! And we're here at uh, one of these uh, games with high agility moves, lots of dodge, <laughs> skills. You know, not being used at all. This is going to be pure undisputed violence. Yep, banger intuition, win the toss receive to start is definitely what's happening here. Uh, just two claw pom teams, both both quite small actually, only 1850. Um, missing a lot of guard is Andre, only two guard on the chaffs. Uh, there's there's quite hey, a bit of, of guard. Two guards in the chaff and one in, uh, and two in the bulls. Yes, not yes. enough, not enough. Yeah, but you know he's got a claw pommer and a claw pommer can win the match on his own. Um, he only has one claw mighty. He's got one claw mighty and one claw pom. Um, but Sniperino has the you know three strength four claw mighties, which is huge, and the claw pom as well. So, why yeah, interesting strat did... though. You know the withdrawn defense. Yes. Why he didn't use the claw pomber to make an NOS? Oh, oh. Oh. oh my god, this is mental. What a what a lunatic. What an Holy absolute! Shit. What an uh, this is the worst play. I've, I've seen, seen in a long time. Yeah, he's got a GFI and then screen him with like two guarders, I guess. That is. What mad. the hell? Because he couldn't pile on. Like it was just, it was just I weird, mean, wasn't it? He could pile on because he's not going to foul with one of the. Oh, I guess he could. Yeah. yeah, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, he might though. He's got loads he of players. Might. But you don't move, uh, get up that player uh, again, ever. <laughs> yeah. You pile on there. What the hell? <laughs> Jeebus. But yeah, he's, he's caged. He's caged. He's caged the pommer, so that's okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Andre is uh, absolutely without words right now. <laughs> Saying, what the hell have you just seen? That's the most <laughs> rowdy play I've seen. Yeah, that was that was extreme rowdiness. <laughs> yes. No fucks given. I'm <laughs> to absolutely fail. A spend that roll. Oh, no, foul no good, and the dirty player's right there, and he's unprotected. This is genius from Sniper Reno. <laughs> this is absolute genius. It's so reverse he, foul bait. Also, if he was a 1 in 9 or something like that, you know, he will be next to the pile, uh, the pylon player. Yep. So what the hell is this? <laughs> this is going to be a big foul. Three assist foul? On, on the claw pommer? Maybe even more because he can. Uh... I think three. I think I think he was right to claw pom the guard. Right, this is like his best dwarf that isn't the the other two. Do you know what I mean? Like, uh... yeah, he could have he could have claw pommed him and then blocked him, I guess. But even then, he's he's still just getting the three assists. Aren't he? Probably. Do you foul before even blocking? Maybe, because you're only on two rerolls now. No, he's going to block first. I, I quite like fouling before, even. Like, oh god, he's really going all mans. He's mansing him up. Well, he has the strength advantage and the guard advantage, so... Yeah, he needs to push. But this is... I, I don't know. I mean, he doesn't have that much guard. He has three guard. Yeah, and, and two of them are in wrestle players, which I don't like at all. I don't like guarding on wrestle players. And the problem is protecting the ball, right? There's there's bulls with break tackle around, and if you you want to put in foreman on the foul, it's hard for you to put too many men uh, basing people up. I guess you can use the these as the front of the cage. Yeah, that's what he's that's what he's doing. There is a ball, yeah, Demi, but I mean, it's already, thanks to this with... Oh my god, I'm hiccuping. Thanks to withdrawn defence, he's already massively in the half, and there's basically no hope of Andre st uh, stopping him scoring unless something wild happens. Oh. 
Yeah, so you use those three assists as a front of your cage. Yep, I quite like that. And I think go for the foul before you make the block, honestly, because you just don't want to reroll the one in nine. I just want to mention that there's going to be three Hobgoblins that are going to be free next turn. Yeah, that is the big weakness of this play, for sure. That's why I didn't like that warrior. I would rather that warrior was, like, you know, occupying at least two of these guys. Yes. Ah, but okay, it means he can foul from there. Okay, that, that's all right. I would have fouled from the other side, but I guess this, this lets him do that. <laughs> <laughs> Does nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand that. Because he rolled a four. Oh, he needed to roll a seven. Yeah, four, five, six, seven. And then he got eight with the uh, dirty player. And he, I don't, why does it say seven plus? Because it's armor nine, uh, the chorf. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, yeah, because it's, uh, so it's actually six plus he's got mighty blow. Right, I was, I was, being, I was being really dumb then. Yeah. Right, never mind. Dis disregard. But so yeah, he had to roll a seven to break without dirty play, but he could have rolled a six and still broken, couldn't he? But not a four. I didn't even look at what he rolled, but I was like, a seven isn't four, right. Yeah. I was like thinking seven plus isn't right, is it? Because he's got three assists. So he's yeah. got plus four. No, no, no. So he needed six, but I guess they just do it as seven and then because you've got dirty player as a as the option. Yeah, I don't like it banning them. I, I, I like I like leaving the warrior on on these two, and then uh, fouling from there. Yeah, foul from here. Because yeah, letting these guys up and get on you. And he's taken no removals as of yet, Andre. So his his Darlow gambit has paid off. <laughs> For all the violence plays, all the violent plays we are seeing here, very peaceful, uh, very peaceful game. Yep. Oh Bring my God. There. <laughs> the, the brainless greed. And <laughs> I'm starting to think that these two guys know each other. <laughs> because this is not how you play, you know, uh, against an unknown guy. This is one, one of your best pals or one of your worst enemies. <laughs> There's a lack of guard support for the Corpom, isn't there? He, he can't realistically hit anybody right now, so... Uh, Sniperino has to work to get the guards in to get a, to get a good hit here. Do we try to use the Canadian uh, defense, letting all the space in the wall for Sniperino? Sniperino saying, nah, I'm just going, you know, <laughs> face first. <laughs> yep, there's no, no, oh, there's a babe, there's a babe for Andre. And 15 players. And, and a million uh, hobos. Yeah. <laughs> this is how you play against someone that slept with your girlfriend. <laughs> something like that, I mean, or their best pals or something like that, you know, like. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Wouldn't you just feel sorry for them, though, J5? <laughs> Hello, Pedro. <laughs> Hello, first spawn. <laughs> Hello, first Hello, Pedro. No need to pile further misery on them. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, yeah, the guard was always going to come in, wasn't he? I mean, that makes uh, things much easier. He gets the 2D on the bull. But only a push. One pushes his guard out. Oh, okay, to hit there. Oh, well, then what he could do is he could put a player here and then push him in there. Oh, no, he can't get him to go out there, can he? No, no but he now gets to dice with the other, with the claw mighty. Good. Yep. And then pushes away his claw pommer from his claw pom. And then gets to hit the claw pom. And gets the assist in there. Beautiful stuff. Okay, this is a more proper violent uh, blue ball. Yep. Yep. So you can you can now hit this one, then hit this one, then hit this with the assist. Yeah, that was that was real nice, real nice chains there from Sniperino. That and makes me think it. maybe it is Colian because that was that was pretty good play. I don't know who started that rumor, but that's the rumor that Sniperino is Colian, who is Artemis's favorite Russian coach. 
Oh, there you go. In terms of how good he is, like, I don't know. Um, oh, he's re rolled the one -er to get the two. -er. Already down to one re roll, just punching things. <laughs> uh, I mean. Oh, he gets the armor break! And the cast! And the cast! That's instant apple coming here! Yep, yeah, instant. Instant apple. Boy, howdy. The Chorf still have a Colo Mighty and a couple of Mighty Blow pieces, so. Mm. He can hit the ball as well. He can hit the ball here. Will he go for it? He hasn't got tackle. But he could maybe take this one. I can't really take anybody down. He could just uh he could just make like a four plus dodge to hit the ball. If he wanted. They're turn into the game, first cast. The I expect it to catch up. There is a lot of uh, players on the Andrew's team. No, of course he's not going for the ball. He's just gonna, he's just gonna claw mighty the claw palm. And not nothing. Is he gonna, is he gonna dodge foul? Is he gonna get this bull like around here to do something? The problem is, of course, he can still just get claw mighty even if he's not getting claw palm. Was Russian bot farm's identity ever officially revealed? I don't know. I don't want to say who it was. <laughs> yeah, I mean he's losing the fight here, isn't he? Yeah, like although Sniperino made that that glorious removal, he's you know he's got he's got a lot of players on their asses right now. Yes, he's not looking good. Yeah, okay, he's not getting that. But he's making the one as here, Andre. That will free the other one to... Uh, to make the foul. Yes, yeah, yeah. Or tag the Pomber. Just we tag the Pomber with a Goblin, just uh, nullifies uh, most of the punch. Yeah, oh wow, look at this. Not blitzing with Kurapalm because of the chain for the assist on that guy. And then I guess the Clawpalm can come back here and save himself a bit. <laughs> Yeah, we can definitely rule out help me <laughs> based on the play. <laughs> based on the quality of play, we can instantly rule out help me. <laughs> oh, dear. So he didn't get. He did. I hate this push direction because if he had just assisted any other square, he could have pushed him to here. Yeah. Or here, and he could have got his claw on the safe. Now he can't get his claw on the safe. Oh! Wow, Rando Kaz. Rando Kaz. That was, that was pretty terrible. It's funny, it was such a good turn earlier, and then do such a bad push there. Really weird. Maybe he thought he had two blitzes this turn. <laughs> Hello, Flicky Flag. I don't think this is GG yet, Ori Lenses. <laughs> it's far from GG. That was a, a skillless chorf. <laughs> I mean, he knows that, but I like to I like to treat every comment at face value, even Ori Lensis' ones. <laughs> Was the first GG the claw bomber? I mean, it might have been if the Apple had failed. Like, if that had been, a, you know, a miss next into Apple failed, then that might have been GG instantly, really. The claw bomber is his big, his big win. But... Nope, and then yeah, there you go, he just does that dodge and leaves his claw bomber down. Like, that seems such a bad play to have pushed him there. He could have just assisted here, pushed him there, got the claw bomber up there, and then, like, how much better, or here, like, how much better is his next turn? Really weird. <laughs> Alternating turns with her girlfriend while we meet. 
<laughs> yes, exactly. Cheer time. The wig drip over the chair has got to be one of one of the best Blood Bowl streaming moments of all time, hasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Nice kill. Like what an absolute meme, Lord! It's it's just amazing, isn't it? I can't, I can't, I kind of can't believe it happened. It's just genuinely amazing. I love it. I absolutely love it. <laughs> it's probably not Russian. Do you, can you translate them? <laughs> This could have been completely avoided. <laughs> nothing happened. Yes, Kinroth. <laughs> it's true, he's, he's, he's done a good stand here, hasn't he? Yes, yes, he's advancing slowly, you know, yeah. eh? one square per turn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, the ball is not that far away anymore. Yeah, yeah it is, Pedro. Like, it is. I think I think that would be my one big criticism of it, is just how swingy, like, how random and swingy removals are. Is probably my biggest criticism of Blood Bowl from, like, a, you know... It being a good competitive game, kind of. Because, yes, in the long term, good players will make better blocks and, you know, have their best players hit less and all this kind of stuff. But in just one game, even rookies, you know, rookies versus... Uh, what's the toughest thing? Ogres? Oh no, trees. So halflings, halflings with deep root and two trees. You could just literally cas all three trees out on the first turn with with a rookie, with a rookie, you know, rookie human team or whatever. Could just literally cas three treemen on the first turn or four ogres or whatever. Like it's like that's crazy, isn't it? Like I feel like that just shouldn't be possible. <laughs> Basically, I, you know, they could make some of the wilder swings, just not possible. This is pretty terrible, isn't it? Here, this push. Because now he could he could dodge blitz on into a one D, or he could just run around the bull here. Maybe he's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eight. eight. Oh no, nearly. Maybe he'd have to do an uphill. Maybe he could do an uphill then run around and hit the ball. Maybe he just doesn't give a shit about the ball. Yes, but in this game, yeah, because it's so likely. But like, even even when it's super unlikely, it can just happen, can't it? But yeah, obviously, when people are laden with claw mighty, because just things have like the ability to kill things goes up, and defensive ability just doesn't, does it? You know, like the most you can get is like block, wrestle, fend, dodge, sidestep is about as defensively as you can build somebody. Which isn't that fucking defensive, is it? <laughs> like, ultimately, you're still pre you're pretty much always going to be 55% to get knocked down. And, uh... And Pom, um, nice little chain there. Ooh, oh, Huge cars! Here comes the apple. Yep. And there you go, he, he gets the, uh... He gets the chain into the 1D on the ball. Or maybe he'll dodge for two. Dodge with a roll. Yes, yes, yes. Yep, yeah, it's suddenly all going down the shitter for <laughs> Sniperino. <laughs> it's a tough call, isn't it? I guess you do go for the dodge, right? Because you don't really want to roll a skull or a both down on the 1D. So while it means that you don't get uh, you don't get recovery, the recovery is pretty lords anyway. So maybe just oh, okay. See that was the thing. You're gonna reroll the skull anyway, right? So and you wouldn't want the boat down. So I think just do the dodge. And obviously the dodge would have failed anyway, but worst fail. Yeah, but the, the, yes, I would have gone with the dodge. I mean, having a reroll is a one in nine. Yeah. Getting two dice with a uh, tackle on the wall carrier. Oh yes. Yep. 
Yeah, exactly, Kinross. Something like that you could do if you just made it just a PC game, couldn't you? What are the chances of Cas 3 turns into two? I mean, yeah, small, possibly. Small, that's what I mean. But, like, that, that can happen. The point is, I just feel like it should be impossible, right? And then, obviously, once you've got a claw palm, everything becomes quite likely. And you can easily have wild swings. Like, the swings you can have in this in this game are just completely mad, aren't they? With, with both teams having claw mighty and claw palm. Like, the, the possible swings are just kind of pretty insane to think about. And probably the average person can't even comprehend them. <laughs> like people are bad at statistics aren't they in general to to get the exclamation point math in um, <laughs> you know is he going to go for the 3D claw palm here he may well do the fact he stood that guy up rather than just hitting with a wrestle makes me think he's going to yep Sir Dice uh, does the job yep Natural armor break. Yeah. It's still reasonably difficult to hide from the bulls. The, I mean, the thing is, at least the bulls don't have tackle. <laughs> yes, Tommy. It, it is hard for, for people to, uh, to get statistics for me in general. And that's a, a potato. Yep, he's got a GFI here. To get One, away two, from three, the board. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, he had the GFI once. Now nah, I think the pylons that that fine there. It's, he's kind of safe enough, and he's got. Wrestles that he'd, he he can blitz with if he needs a knockdown. Right, he's only got two turns. This guy's miles away. This guy's down. This guy's down. I think Pylon is definitely the right play there. Yeah, yeah, uh, Pylon there was very safe. <laughs> yes, Tier Five. It's always good, isn't it, on the TV where they say like average, and it's like, well, you know. Tell me if that's mean, median, or more. Oh, is range is range what Americans call mean, or not? Because you've got mean as well, haven't you? You've got the mean. Andre sending away his uh, clutch orf. Yeah. Ultimate protection. <laughs> Hard to miss is what Americans call mean. Very good. <laughs> Mean is what most people think of as the average, isn't it? But when when they say average, they could mean anything, really. Oh, there you go. He's saving the reroll for the one turn, is he? Or just for hitting things? For hitting things on turn eight. That's what he's saving the reroll for. Hitting things on turn eight. We're hey. Glorious. That's <laughs> the average I usually mean, Tony. <laughs> well, that is mean, J5. <laughs> hey. You know, he could have uh, moved the uh, on pieces before doing that the uh, block. Yeah. I mean, I think he's going to blitz the bull, but he has more than enough pieces to. Uh, Rough, yeah, but this this gave him options, right? It it sucked a reroll turn one, like it protects your team, you know. Maybe if he maybe if he'd started in range, maybe he just gets a, you know, he, he can lose the game in the first half, right? This made it harder for him to lose the game in the first half. I I don't hate the withdrawn defense. I used to do it a lot in in, in black box. Uh, are we going to see the foul on the bull? It's a good question, isn't it? He's he 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 is still he's only capped at twelve at the moment, right? He's used his apple. Uh, I don't think the bull is that good to foul. For 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 me, I just don't think it's that good to foul. He's got he's got he's got a babe. He's got a thick skull. He's got two chances to get him back if you KO. You'd low chance to KO him anyway. 
I think I'd rather just keep the men in case he gets sent off instantly. And you know, he's got claw mighty and claw pom, right? He can, you know, it's easy for Andre to make a few removals. I would have, I would have not fouled. And uh, let me just consult calcium. Yep, yep, that was a bad foul. Calcium wouldn't have done that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When I was playing on PS4. <laughs> The Darlow Gambit, that one. Ooh, re-roll here, because he's hitting the claw. Yeah! <laughs> That's what he was saving the re-roll for, hitting the claw. And now can he foul him? He can. Yes. Now this foul I like more, right? Because he's got he's, he's, he's capped at 14 players. And this is the actual best player on the team. Without uh, thick skull or things. Oh. And there you go. Jim was right. <laughs> Silly boy, screening with your best player. There's the third GG of the game <laughs> in chat. <laughs> boy, howdy. <laughs> and now the Chorps gets two LOS uh, rounds. Yeah, this can be huge, the, the double LOS round of blocks. It's pretty massive a lot of the time. Do you want 3D? <laughs> no rerolls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'd make this. It's just a fucking hobo, and he's got like 14 of the cunts. I mean, uh, sorry, uh, he has 14 players at the moment. So, <laughs> I don't think it's really worth the... Uh, what is it? I mean, it's, it's a lot, isn't it? I don't know what it is. 36 times 6. I'm a bit stupid. About 1 in 200, is it? 218? I don't know. I've got no idea. 216. 216. There you go. Something like that. Oh, but that would have been absolutely comedy. It would have been hilarious if it had, if it had failed. I'm a, I'm a bit of a claw pommer myself. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a bit of a banger myself. <laughs> one plus two equals four. Thanks, Muppet. It, it is three plus one equals six, though. But never mind. Yes, Johnny Five. That was that was one of the funniest. Uh, the funniest Blood Bowl 3 request out there. So now he's capped at a, a 10, isn't he? Yeah, thanks to that foul, he's capped at 10. I, I, I didn't I didn't like it. He was already capped at uh, he was already capped at 12. Like obviously he was unlucky to get sent off and his guy cast. But he, his apple was gone, and so he was already capped at 12. And I feel like there's a good chance of them removing somebody, right? With Claw Pommer, Foul, Claw Mighty hits. Um I just I just would have I would have not made that foul. And conversely, would have made the other foul. So yeah, this is looking like Andre's game to lose now, isn't it? Really? That's a that's a huge swing. Now, obviously, the rest of Sniper Reno's team is really good, right? Three strength four guys with Claw Mighty. You know, it's not he's not out of the woods yet, but he's got his best player and he's lost his best player. So that's yes, and good. also he has to endure two rounds of hits. Yeah. On the lowes. Yeah, that that's often so devastating. And he can make this 3D, can he? Three, four, five, six, seven. Which yeah. Andre should do is to go for the one turner, but not to a score, but to blitz with one of the bulls, one of the. <laughs> yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So, oh, oh, you come at me, eh? You come at me with your fucking uh, <laughs> turn one uh, double GFI in. Oof. Only a stun. Yeah, so I think you're getting all the assists and just do the 3D with the claw bomber first because you haven't got rerolls. And seems that's going to be the case. Yeah. Andre doing the right moves. A victory for Spaniards everywhere. <laughs> oh, there you go. There you go. The fight is back. <laughs> so many people in this tournament have, uh, have not made three. Nope, nope, nope. He's doing, he's doing a bit of a different move. I mean, he's still 3D, but he's not doing what I thought. I mean, it's, it's still getting to the same point, I guess, but just... Doing a 3D on the way. I would have still made the claw pom one first. Does this get him an extra 3D hit? Maybe. 
maybe counted the assists and everything and worked out that this was the only way to get three three dice blocks. In which case, fair play. Pushes him closer for the foul. Love to see it. He got to foul this guard now. Doesn't need yep. to keep his dirty play for high value targets because he's already removed the highest value one. So doesn't need the, the pylon deterrent anymore. Gets another Kaz. Oh, 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 Andrew with the fouls. <laughs> two fouls for two Kaz and one foul for one send off. Which one's got the Rick dice and which one's got the Jim dice? <laughs> Brutal. <laughs> Quality pass there. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that was almost uh that was almost a uh Blood Bowl 3 pass, wasn't it? The uh wildly inaccurate one there. Yep, fouling is ridiculously swinging, yeah. Though I do think I do think the send-off was a bad decision. Like I do think the chaos foul was a bad decision, and the chaw fouls were good decisions, but still, like they could have easily gone either way, right? It, that that could have been a bull sent or cast out. Yep. And that could have been two two hobgoblins sent off and no effect. So like it's just it's just ridiculous luck. <laughs> the the thing is though, Kinroth. The thing is, Kinroth, right? I've got this. <laughs> so you know. That's uh, that's got to count for something, hasn't it? Yeah, calcium. Love the last one. Yep. Can I just get cal? Cal. We've got calcium here. And yep, calcium said he would have he would have done that foul all day. Perfect foul decision. Yep. And, and oh, Rick's got this, hasn't he? So you know, there's a reason. There's a reason though. That, there's a reason that we have these emotes. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying, Kinroth, there's a reason. There's a reason we've got these emotes, right? <laughs> I'm not trying to take away anything from you, but uh, I certainly haven't had the best luck fouling in my life. The funny thing is I used to on, on Fumble. Like, it's the strangest thing. I was like the bashiest coach on Fumble, which was full of bangers, and I was banger prime while still winning as well. Like not like not like Studman who would just sacrifice his entire drive to get like more fouls off and, and stuff like that. I was like actually winning. And I wasn't winning as much as I should have done, but I enjoyed banging on people. <laughs> oh god, yeah, I just I need to get Kaz to make sound effects. Oh my god. Oh my god, that is brilliant pen and Right, I'm gonna write that down like, so I don't forget. <laughs> Alright. Good go, lads. It does, it does, it does feel like that. Yeah, I did enjoy the Elf Coach SFX. Yeah, I did, yeah. But I like this a lot more, the, uh, the Kaz Foul. <laughs> the Kaz Foul opinions. <laughs> it's fucking brilliant. Because <laughs> I'm sure Calcium would be like, oh, that was a great foul. Love that foul. Something like that he'd record especially for us, wouldn't he? I'm sure he would. <laughs> oh, I didn't like that foul. <laughs> I wouldn't have oh, done I that, like one. that one. I didn't like that one. <laughs> it totally do it. I think that's fucking brilliant. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> All day long and wouldn't have done that, yeah? Man, fucking brilliant. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's a true J5, yeah. I don't know all of it, but it's, it's genius. <laughs> Will we leave another uh, cast? Oh, yep, Calcium would have made that. Oh, no, no, he got sent off. Maybe he wouldn't have. 
Oh, this is this is a, this is a harder one to assess whether we'd have made this. Oof, far. Oof, oof. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is Did, didn't like it, but I get it. I get it. <laughs> I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that one. I guess that's. I, I, I'm okay with that one. <laughs> it's a good trade. It's a good trade. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> Three, six, or ten versus eight. <laughs> oh, and now well, it's nine versus eight. And the uh, chaos needed to get someone out because yeah, yeah. they're looking good. But now it's all right. Still, the uh, chorps has the a big advantage here. Yeah, yeah, just because he can't stop the claw pom, right? That that's the biggest thing. He just cannot stop the claw pom. He's trading a Claw Mighty hit for a Claw Palm hit. Claw Mighty on, on Thick Skull. Probably. And going for the Canadian uh, defense. Yeah, 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 quite like this. I mean, that's not going to stop the Claw Pomber to making another hit uh, this time. Yeah, with a GFI. Yeah, he's definitely going to GFI. But he's protected his good players, hasn't he? So. Yeah, the club Here we go. That is that is the big weakness of Chorfs here. Like if he was jump up, this would be uh, looking a lot worse. Oh wow, maybe he's only going to claw mighty blitz this turn. Shit in the pants already, Andre. <laughs> oh come on, it's just one GFI. <laughs> <laughs> what, what could go wrong? Oh, yeah, yeah, no, no, he's doing the GFI. I didn't mind the Claw Mighty hit, right? Because he is 1 0 down. The best he can hope for is overtime. So, I really don't hit just, I really don't hit just making the Claw Mighty and then, and then try to GFI to safety. But I guess if you're going to GFI to safety, you might as well GFI to hit. Ah, doesn't re roll. Doesn't re roll. Why is. Oof. And is this a rookie beast, man? It is. Will we see the desperation foul? First, we'll see this blitz, of course, to set up another claw mighty hit. If it fails. Yes, I feel like when the opponent's best chance is, you know, when when the opponent is playing for overtime at best, maybe you could try to avoid that. <laughs> I agree, buddy, but there you go. No, Pedro, no, no. We only ever ask we only ever ask Calcium the, the his opinion after it's happened. That is critical. That is a critical part of the calcium assessment. <laughs> well, what an epic absolutely epic moment yesterday when uh was saying look Alma Alma will never score a one turn in his life. <laughs> oh. oh I didn't Take like that foul. And... Wouldn't have done that one. <laughs> That's a, the GG is coming closer and closer. <laughs> oh chucks. Oh man we need this we need we need this we need this fucking emote so bad, holy shit. I mean yes, clear expression, he needs to high roll uh, something, so I, I see the point in the foul. Yeah, yeah, I don't hate it. But but looking at it from the other side if you could have just moved away from him. You know, and then I try to push the ball. Like that's the thing. I do. I think. I think yes. Bernie's got a lot. Like because you know, at the end of the, the way it's looking, if it goes to overtime for the chaos, well, they're not looking too good, are they? You know. They they'll get two two rolls, two KO rolls, one run of LOS hits in turn sixteen. And Andrew is saying, "No, uh, you are not running away." <laughs> I'm not there, uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no I'm gonna keep uh, chasing you and banging on you. Yeah, but I mean, that chase is, is giving up a claw mighty hit, um, and they can also chain it on another claw mighty hit. Right, this is, uh, I mean, he could also base the ball, but I think he's not gonna care about the ball, he's just gonna, he's just gonna chain. Oh, it's not a claw mighty one. Oh, shit. Well, now he's gonna feel sad, isn't he? But it's still another wrestle hit. He can, he can, he can hit both, can't he? Just good. Yeah, exactly, Muppet. That's the thing. Like, the chaos probably should have. Uh, 
probably should have made more of an effort to score. Well, he's not doing that play. Now he's going to get in front and try and stop the score, I guess. Okay. Okay. Or maybe he's still just going to bang. I, I don't know. Maybe he's going to uh, blitz one of the bulls. The bull down. Yeah. I go, I go for the achor. Yeah, GFI ah, coming there you in the back. Go, GFI. There's the bull. There's the armor break. There we Get go. The There's a cars. There you go. Oh, equity shield. Huge Need equity shield. Nothing to make the screen tremble when you know when it's equity shield. <laughs> <laughs> equity, equity rising for the chaos. Have there been any? Uh, is this who you're playing next? Maybe three. Um, we've got a miss. We've got a miss next game on a chalk blocker. Well, there's been there's been a few lasting injuries to the pride of uh, Sniperino and Andre. Badly hurt. Uh, this one is badly hurt. This one's minus movement. So a little bit of miss next. Oh wow, they GFIing again with a claw pommer, re-rolling again the GFI with a claw pommer. <laughs> These guys hate each dodge. other. These guys hate each other. <laughs> Ooh, he makes the big two plus. Huge. Oh, look, a Chaos Warrior next to the ball. <laughs> yep. There is 2D on the ball with the IG4 right now. I mean, requires some uh, dices, but not that many. Yep. IG4 with dodge. Oh, he's already stood him up. Interesting. Oh, winning it. Winning is your next opponent. Oh. Oh, look at all that mighty claw. Please. <laughs> oh. Boo. Boo. I guess you have heard the Hellboy's uh, impersonation of yourself, Miss Beltry. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Well, Miss Beltry, it makes you feel better, and uh, Jimmy has to face uh, Crucifer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, my, mine's definitely worse. <laughs> oh, there it comes. There we go. Just the straight in with the uh, the dodge double GFI to two D with a claw, and now he's got the uh, now he's got the beastman recovery and another removal. Boy, howdy! And Andre has gone from uh, having the easiest score. To get too involved in the fight, and now this happened. We've got Blood Bowl 7s now, haven't we? <laughs> Six versus seven on the field. Holy moly. Scoring threat. Let's go. Oh, no, no. Okay, he's just tagging out. <laughs> he has a very easy recovery there. Yeah. Yeah. The, and now the strength four is more relevant as well, isn't it? Like he's got three strength four to only one. Yes. It happened that the uh, Andre didn't uh, didn't wanted to get the uh, Sniperino to just stay down or yeah. There is the punt, boy. How there, there was there was there was hate on that punt. You could feel it. You could feel <laughs> it. Like, Fuck off! <laughs> you are your fucking chorf. <laughs> <laughs> So Andre could have gone for the sure score, just advancing a few players, keeping the others, just uh, going for one hit per turn or something like that. I say no, let's put everybody together again because I want bang it, and he got banged. Yep. Oh, but of course now, now <laughs> as an Everino best player, he's hitting. <laughs> Oh, no reroll. Ooh, follows. Interesting. 
I would have been tempted to just go and assist here and then move the ball down there and then like punch him. But instead he stacked all the GFIs. Let's flip and go. I guess he got to right given the turn car actually. Uh, turn one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, so you pretty much pretty much had to stack the GFIs with only three turns left. Yeah, I think that was the blitz, yeah. Yeah, I think that's fine. I think given the time, given the turn counter, that's what he's got to do. Here, though, yeah. <laughs> now he can uh, dodge the ball carrier, blitz the claw, mighty blow, and then move the other warrior down, tag the bull. Nope, he's just, or, but that means he can't blitz with claw, so he's just going to blitz with claw. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the thing is, Ori Lensis, why not both? <laughs> right? That's the thing, isn't it? That is the thing. This, That's Blood Bowl, in fact. Blood Bowl in general, but more so with Claw, Claw Pom and Claw Mighty. I mean, yes. Yes, it's been, you know, there is a. But there have been decisions made by the coaches that have uh, some relevance. On the result. Yeah. Oh wow, that was greedy. Like one just go back out. One, two, three, four, five, six, that's fine, isn't it? Yes, yes, to you know, get some space and uh, now what? Is he gonna he's I gonna think... tag is he gonna double GFI to uh double tag the bull Ooh. could be an option? Just moving down. Yeah, double GFI. I guess it's got to be a double GFI. That's the only reason to do that, right? Otherwise, you do the easier dodges. So, yeah, he, he, his plan was a double GFI. There you go. There you go. What a, what a move. What, what a game. What a game. <laughs> the fourth GG comes out. <laughs> I mean, the problem is he's still got the break tackle, right? Because he can just break tackle, punch, and then run around. But um... but he's a bull. He's fast, but he's not that fast. Yeah, I mean, he's not happy about having a raw three plus here, is he? But it's still, it's still fine, as Dio would say. <laughs> what he might even do here is GFI with this guy. Because he tags both, and then he gives an assist for the for the hit, so he can hit the he can hit the claw, mate. That's exactly what's gonna happen. <laughs> and fails, and must roll it. There is no other option. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. I knew I knew he'd want to hit the claw, mate. But yeah, more chance of a knockdown, right? Yes, the other has dodge. Oh, and with oh, Guardi, okay, then he doesn't... Okay. Oh, yeah, it stops the break tackle. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it was actually pretty good, then. Oh, I just thought he was going to do it a hit there, but it's actually a good move in the end. Right, so he's got a blockless block here. Glorious. Which is... No, uh, I won't gotta be made, right? In. It's got to be made. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Am I fantastic yet? Well, not really. This is the last action of the turn, so no, no, no. You have to reroll because you can let the the whole goblin run away. Yeah, I, I didn't like this block first because I think if you, if you hit this first and he hasn't moved, then he can you can you've got the follow hit with block, right? And um, thank you very much, constant hangover for staying fantastic for one whole year. Three beaver pregnancies, absolutely yeah. glorious. You uh, have been always been fantastic, uh, Constant Hanover. Exactly. Since the first month you started, uh, you started putting money on the channel. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Thanks for staying fantastic. Okay, so he's been safer, look. Look at that. Actually being even safer than doing that hit into that hit. So there you go. Wow. So that removal and that stun makes it very, very difficult. And he can just go for a score here, can't he? Yes. 
Podcast de Move Down de. Ok, he's not doing it. Whoa. Boy, howdy. I'd have totally now. gone for that score. Now you run away. Boo. How the fuck do you not go for the score, though? It's like 3 2 2 2 to, to win. And you've got you've got sure hands and dodge. What? What is what? happening? What, what's Sandri doing? What is this? I don't understand. What's the play here? Oh, maybe they just said like GG in chat and then decided to. Uh, Collusion! To Collusion in the cab! I mean, he could have done. He could have dodged and double GFI'd. He could have picked up the ball with the, the ball at least. Hmm. I mean, now with the ball carrier running away. Oh, was he stunned? Oh, it was the was oh the the hobgoblin was stunned, was it? Okay, so yeah, Andre couldn't score. Yeah, okay then. All right, fair enough. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, fair okay. enough. Right, hobgoblin was stunned. Okay. So yeah, run away from Core is better then. Yeah, all right. Fair, fair enough. No, no, it's right then. Yeah, there's no, there's no point going for the score. Is there? You just don't. going for the score doesn't get you anything. <laughs> well, and that blitz resumes the game. No, yeah, he, he did totally right, but yeah, t totally okay, right. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. No sniper, you know. Not even time sixteen foul to kill the other bull. Yeah. I whoa. told you these guys knew each other. <laughs> Yeah, all right. I didn't. I didn't realize the the stun then when they when it I, like yeah okay yeah yeah. So there was no there was no possible score on. So it's better to just run away than than score and maybe have yeah no. There's no there's no point score scoring. Just gets you guys hit. Like okay, it gets you three sp. It gets you three spps. But it gets your players hit more, and and you don't want your players hit more. And one nil is just as good as two nil. As long as there's no counter score possible from Andre. Then the, I, I've done that often in tournaments, like won one nil when I could have just won two nil, just to avoid the last three blocks on the LOS at the end of the game, you know, because it's just it's just not worth it versus claw pom teams. So yeah, so that that's that's completely, completely fair. Ah um, uh, yeah, I didn't notice that the whole bling was there, Stanley. There was so much stuff going on. It's been one of the quickest the games that we have had in the Telegram. The Chops couldn't score, Razzle. That that was his that was his own end zone. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That was his own answer. It was literally impossible for the Chaos to score on the last two turns, so that's, that's why the that's why the Chaos just ran away, and there was no point in them scoring a second because it just gets them punched, and one nil is the same as two nil, and like you know, presumably his carry was on loads of SPPs, and there was no chance of him leveling. Him. Yeah, so there you go. Great result from Sniperino. Very well played to get the stop on defense. Maybe it's a bit of a throw from Andre, but you know, let's not try to be harsh, especially to the Spanish, because they seem to have a bee in their bonnet about me. So you know, <laughs> um, commiserations, Andre. Congratulations, Sniperino. Thank you very much, Fimir, for for doing the commentary. Absolutely glorious. Always a pleasure. Thank you so much, and thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.